I want to talk about resistance because resistance is such a big problem, but it's the opening way for all kinds of amazing things to come to you and enable you and empower you to achieve things in service of Krishna and in your life in general that you may not have been able to do yet. So yesterday I was doing a course and one person in the course was talking about a resistance. I'm resistant to do something. I said, why are you resistant? He said, I'm afraid to fail. It's another thing I will try and then I'll fail and I can't deal with it. So this is why I'm resisting. And I said, if you go through your resistance, even if you fail, that's a huge success because most people can't face their resistances because there's something very uncomfortable that they're facing, some kind of fear, some inhibition, some task, something that they, they fear they can't succeed at. <clears throat> but just the fact that you face it, even if you fail, you're not a failure because you didn't face it before. And fearing resistance is difficult. And if you can do that, then you're amazing. And that opens up the potential and possibility to achieve so much because the reality is that much of what we resist has on the other side of that resistance the very things we want to achieve, the very things we need to achieve, the very things we have to achieve, but because it's difficult or because it's uncomfortable, because we've never done it before, there's all this resistance around it. And so if we can just work through the resistance, even if we fail, at least we've succeeded. <clears throat> and the next time there's resistance, it's going to be easier to work through because we practice it. Now, the last thing I want to say that, that underscores this whole conversation is that Krishna consciousness, because it's not material, you don't evaluate success on the basis of something external. Sometimes you can only evaluate your success on the basis of your mentality, or on the basis of your sincerity, or on the basis of your effort, not on the basis of your result. And ultimately, our results aren't within our power, and our results aren't always that impressive for Krishna. And anyway, he's the one who's empowering us, so we're not really impressing him. But beyond that, Beyond that, the point is that if I make a sincere effort, that's what Krishna sees. That's what Prabhupada always saw in us. He didn't, he didn't judge us based on our intelligence or ability. He saw sincerity. That's what pleased him. That's what made him think, this is a devotee who can do service for Krishna because they're sincerely trying. And even though they would fail, that was not the issue. The issue was always, as long as you're sincere, you'll be successful, keep going. You're pleasing me by your sincerity. Krishna will guide you. So that, that is the real issue. As long as we do something with sincerity, we can fail a million times. It doesn't matter because it was done sincerely. <clears throat> and if it's not done sincerely and you succeed, then what's the point? What's the use? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.